Hi guys, my name is Valery from Valery Visuals and I'm an illustrator, graphic and motion designer. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to create isometric text design like this. So let's start with the tutorial. Go to Actions, Canvas, activate the drawing guide and then go to Edit Drawing Guide. Select the isometric grid and increase the size of the grid like that. And now let's draw the first sketch of our text design. Pick any brush that you want, decrease the opacity of the brush and start to draw the first letter. You don't need to be very precisely, just follow the lines of the grid. Now let's decrease the opacity first and start to draw the different parts of the letters. Create new layer for each part. Here you can see how I creating these straight lines. You need to draw a line and don't leave the pen from the screen till the line gets straight automatically. And then with the other finger press on the screen is going to create a snapping movement. Let's rename this layer to H and create another layer for the next part. This is going to be the first part of the word I, so let's rename it to I. And with this method we can create the other parts of our text design. Make sure you give a name for the layers. Now we can duplicate this layer and bring it to this area. Same thing to this part of the letters and of course you don't need to draw this again and again, you can duplicate the parts and bring them to the right position. After we finish to create the all parts of our text design, we can start to paint the letters. And for the beginning, you can bring any palette that you want. I get my color palettes from Color Hunt in Instagram. I put a link in the description below. And now, with the long press on the color, we can choose what color we want and then make sure you're standing on the right layer and then drag the color to this part. Repeat this process for all other parts of the text design and don't forget to make sure that you always stand on the right layer that you want to color. For this part of the text we need a darker color. Let's bring the H layer to the top and continue coloring the other parts. For this part I think we need to choose the color that is between the darker and the brighter color.
Now let's create another layer for the background and I think this color is going to be okay. Mm, no, I think black is better. Now we can delete our color palette and the sketch layer. And now we are going to group our parts. So for selecting the parts that you want to group, you need to slide with your finger right on the layer that you want to choose. Like this and like this. And now click here on group. You see guys, this is creating our group. Now I take this group down here and I grouping the edge parts. Cool. Let's rename our letters. This is H and this is I and this is the background. Now let's add a cool grain texture shadings to our design. Let's start with this part. So open this group, create new layer above this layer and then click on the new layer and activate the clipping mask. Now with long press let's sample this color then choose darker color. Now go to brushes, touch ups and choose the noise brush. Increase the size and start to paint. Then merge these two layers and repeat this process for all other parts of the letters. If you want to learn more about grain texture shading, I recommend to you guys to see my tutorial how to create this kind of cool grain textures. I put a link in the description below. For the upper part of the letter I am choosing a brighter color and I am creating this kind of highlight. And that's it guys, now you can choose the group and with the transform tool you can move the letters to any position that you want. This is a cool benefit of the groups. This is a little animation that I made with this text design. If you want to learn more about After Effects, I have a cool tutorials on my channel, so check them out and I hope this one was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more cool tutorials in the future and I see you next time guys.